in English. That is courage, courage, courage. This is a poem, which is poem number three in our chapter, in our index. It is written by Edgar Albert Guest. So first let us learn more about the poet. Edgar Albert Guest was a British-born American poet who was popular in the first half of the 20th century and became known as a people's poet. His poems often had an inspirational and optimistic view of everyday life. Edgar Guest began his career at the Detroit Free Press in 1895, where he first worked as a copy boy. He was soon promoted to police writer and later to exchange editor. And in 1904, he began writing verse for the Free Press under the heading Chauff. Those columns evolved into an immensely popular daily feature entitled Breakfast Table Chat, which at the height of its popularity was syndicated in about 300, 300 other newspapers. Let us learn, let us see the poem. We'll read paragraph wise and then. Okay, children, so uh, I'll be reading the paragraphs one stanzas one by one and will simultaneously explain to you. So the first stanza goes like this. When the burden grows heavy and rough is the way, when you falter and slip and it isn't your day. And your best doesn't measure to what is required when you know in your heart that you are fast growing tired. With the odds all against you, there's one thing to do. That is, call on your courage and see the thing through. So here, so here the poet is trying to say, when the burden grows heavy and rough is the way, it is talking, it is related or it is talking about a life story the hurdles, the hardships, the responsibilities that we come across in our day-to-day -day life, how our life takes a turn in good and bad ways. The poet is referring to those things over here. Burden, he means over here about the responsibilities that one carries or one takes. When the burden grows heavy and rough is the way, so when you have a lot of responsibilities to take over and you find your path to be a little difficult, a little rough, you should not slip, you should not fall, you should be steady, you should not uh, find yourself to be stumbling over it. That isn't your day, you should not mark it as your day. You need to be the best, you need to gather courage, you need to come out as successful. Okay, When you know in your heart that you are fast growing tired with the odds all against you, there is one thing to do, that is call on your courage and see the thing through. <clears throat> so if you come across somewhere that you are falling down, you are stumbling, you are not able to withstand the responsibilities, you are burdened with it, you are quite finding it difficult, the work, the path is difficult for you, you should not stumble, you should not lose your heart, you should be strong enough to withstand all your, all your difficulties and gather your courage. So call it out. The courage that is within you, it's all there within all of us. Only thing is we need to gather it. Only thing is we need to call it out and keep it with us as a courageous thing. Second stanza, who battles for victory ventures defeat? Misfortune is something we all have to meet. Take the loss with the grace you would take in the game. When things go against you, don't whine or complain. Just call on your courage and grin if you can. Though you fail to succeed, do not fail as a man. So the poet says that uh, even if you are battling the victory, you, you are victorious, you are in a competition, you are competing with something, you are competing with something and you are the winner, of course, it's the happiest moment for you. You are defeating somebody, you are defeating the, uh, the riskiest task or the riskiest journey that come across. You are following 
uh, the hardships, you're, you're going through a lot of hard work and then you defeat somebody and you are turned out to be a victorious person. That is definitely a victory to you. If you happen to come across misfortune, misfortune means some kind of unpleasant things happening, not very lucky enough at some time. You find, it, you find yourself to be very unlucky at certain point of time. But that is okay. You should take it as a grace, the way you take it, take your laws. If you lose something, you, you, sorry, you lose something, you feel disheartened. That shouldn't happen. It should be taken as a, with a grace, with a good smile, with a grin, and uh, should be accepted the way you accept your happiness, your gain, your success. When you succeed with something, you feel happy. You feel, so, you feel victorious. You enjoy, you re relish that moment. You enjoy that moment. The same manner you have to enjoy even your loss. You should not be disheartened. You should not lose your hope. You should take it with grace, with a smile, with a grin on your face to encourage ourselves, not to lose that hope, to encourage ourselves. You should bring that back. So though you fail to succeed, do not fail as a man. So here the poet says, even if you fail uh, uh, with certain competitions, with certain tasks that you're doing, don't leave your values. Your values is something which needs to be the same that you are as a man. Be the same person like you are. Don't change yourself only because you could not succeed. That should not be a hurdle. That should not be an obstacle in your life. You should take it with open arms and fight for it. Overcome it. In the, uh, the, third paragraph, the third line, it says, when things go against you, don't whine or complain. Just call on your courage and grin if you can. So even if you, uh, uh, if, if you lose something, we have seen children who lose in certain competitions. They immediately start crying. They feel disheartened. And it's like, why me? Why it happens always with me? No, it is not you. It happens with everybody. But how each one of us take it is what is important. If you lose your hope, if you feel uh, you are not the successful person, if you are not succeeding in something and you feel disheartened and you start crying, you start uh, uh, complaining about it, of course it becomes difficult for you to overcome it. But when you start standing on its own and take that failure as one of your strong points, proving that next time I'm going to be the best, that would definitely be your uh, winning, winning point. That is definitely something which is going to win over all the failures that you must have come across so that's when you have to rise up you have to become the same old person and fight for your rights and come back as a winner the next stanza says there are dark days and stormy which come to us all when about us in ruin our hopes seem to fall but stand to whatever you happen to meet we just all drink the bitter as well as the sweet and the test of your courage is what you do in the hour when reverses are coming to you. So here uh, the, the poet says that when there are dark days and stormy. So dark days and stormy means when you come across some unpleasant days uh, which you don't want to remember. Some days or some time when it is really very difficult for you. It had become a real difficult times for you. You, you must have seen, you must have lost a dear one of yours. You must have come across a lot of failure, uh, a, a big insult, or you must have come across a very bad day, you can see, a stormy day or bad day. And it is going to stay for some days. It would stay for uh, for a while. It may not go very soon. It, it And it does come to all of us. It is not that everybody is happy. It is not that only you are facing uh, all the bad times. Only you are going through the bad days. Only you are uh, the ones who are suffering. No. Each one of us feel the same thing. Each one of us go through a bad phase. Only thing is that time is different. Maybe you are having it now. Somebody else will have it later. But every one of us comes across the bad days, the stormy days in our life. And there are also pleasant days which come across. So once these days are passing, you will also, uh, you would also see a sunshine in your life. Right? We, as we always say, there is, it is not that every day it is bad. There is a day which is going to come out bright and shiny, where you are going to succeed, where you are going to be successful. You are going to be happy about it. 
the same thing is what a poet is trying to say. So which comes to all of us, but when about us in ruin or hope seem to fail, where you feel that everything is lost, that you are not in a state of mind to recoup it all back again, you have to stand with whatever you have. You must drink all the bitter as well as the sweet and the test of your courage is what do you do in the hour when reverses are coming to you. So you have to go through the hardships. You must be going through a very bad time. You will have to drink the bitter, bitter, the, the most bitterest thing, like it's kadwa cheese. So you must be going through a bitter phase, a bitter task. But you need to drink that bitter so that later on you will have something sweet. You will definitely come to the sweeter part of it. So every life, every people goes through these hardships at one point of time. But later on, definitely they come to the successful part of it. They see the good and the brightest part of their life as well. So they also see the good and bad. right? So it is one time, yes, you need to drink the bitter as well as the sweet. So you have both with you. The only thing is how you take this courage to overcome all these things which has come back to you. The poet over here means the hour when reverses are coming to you, reverses all the losses. Now you must have come across the pandemic situation, what people are going through now. There would be so many who must have lost their jobs. They are not at good, they are not earning well. They don't have money. They don't have finances which is coming over. A lot of losses must, must have come across uh, in their businesses. So many business people must have lost their jobs, their, their business, right? They are running into losses. So this is a phase. It is not going to stay for long. As said, we are awaiting for the vaccine. We are awaiting for a brighter uh, day next when we all are going to move freely like before, like earlier, without these masks, without these distances. That day is soon going to come. Definitely it will come. It is not going to stay for a longer period of time. But yes, this period, this moment is difficult, is a little challenging, is finding little, uh, uh, you know, hard work. We, we are struggling. Everybody is struggling with something or the other, with some part or the other part, be it relations, be it family, be it children, be it work, be it money. Everybody is facing, everybody is going through bad phases. But there is a surety, there is a ray of hope that things would fall into place sooner or later. So even if these misfortunes, even if these losses are coming to you, how you withstand it, how you stand against all these odds is what is important. What would make you a true gentleman? That is what would make you a stronger person. Right? In the last answer, never changed is the battle by curse or regret. Though you whimper and whine, still the end must be met. And who flights a good flight? Though he struggle in vain, shall have many a victory to pay for his pain. So take your reverses as part of the plan which God has devised for creating a man. So uh, the poet is saying here, never change as a battle by curse or regret. Don't regret for anything. Don't curse anything. It would come back. There is no point in making, uh, you know, by feeling unhappy, uh, by crying out loud or feeling hurt, right? Whimper and whine is like making sounds like you are so hurt and you make a series of feeble sounds that has been expressed by, by pain. Somebody who is in pain, they keep on making a, a longer sound of a cry. Okay, so that shouldn't be done. It is going to be over. We all will be coming up or coming over with the, the difficult times that is there. Still the end must be met. And who fights a good fight, though he struggle in vain, though whoever is fighting, they are fighting uh, their best, they are giving their best to overcome the struggle, to overcome the hurdles. Though sometimes it might happen that the struggle is going in vain. In vain it's of no use. It goes useless. It goes without any uh, uh, without any benefit but still you should wait for the victory path you will definitely be victorious one day with all the pain that you suffer you have to overcome and you will definitely come victorious so take your reverses as part of the plan so whatever is 
coming back to you, whatever we have learned. So that's what everybody has told. This pandemic, this lockdown period, this coronavirus, which has affected us, has taught a lot of things to each one of us in all different manner. Though it was the bad phase, though it was the worst year, nobody would like to remember this again. Nobody want to relive these moments again. But there are so many good things that has happened. So we should see those good points behind it. We should not see the bad things that has happened to us in this year. Let us see the good things that we have uh, faced this year. We have learned to be independent. We have learned to do things on our own. We have learned the value of relations. We have learned the, the value of family, value of parents, value of children. Each and every individual, the value of, uh, uh, the value of uh, saving money, right? To keep, to safeguard our things. All these things have been learned by this year, in this year. So though it was the worst year, though nobody wants to remember this year ever before, ever uh, later, but still this year or this pandemic situation or this lockdown has taught us a lot of things from this. Correct? So that's what we need to do it. So we need to take the reverses as part of the plan. So this is something which God has destined. As everybody said, it is God's God's nature. It's it's God's decision. He has the God nature. Uh, um, Almighty has got fugies and this is why it has all happened. That is why it has all happened. So that we all learn a lesson. So that we all protect our nature. So that we all protect our environment. So maybe this was a plan to make it better. So that we learn from our falls, from our mistakes. And going further in future, we are living a better life. We are preserving all these things and we are valuing each and everything that we have learned, which God has devised for creating a man. So you need to work hard for it. We need to do our best to overcome the hurdles and the pains that we suffer. Right? So God helps those who help themselves. Unless and until you put in efforts, God can't do anything. God is there as a support system, but we need to work for our side work from our end to give the best so that's what the poet is talking all about in this poem it's a very beautiful poem which gives a, a kind of motivation it gives us a kind of moral to be learned okay it's it's something which is very much related to our life and very much related to this current situation that we all are going through and we need to build up courage we need to wait for the right time to come, wherein we can show up all our qualities. We can come out or we can uh, relive as Phoenix, the way Phoenix arises, the same way we need to come back to a normal self. That's what we need to learn from this poem over here. Okay, so very well explained by the poet uh, Albert Guest, Edward Albert Guest. Courage, courage, and courage. So we move on to the textual exercises. They are very simple, nothing difficult about it. In this poem, the word burden refers to, it refers to the responsibilities. So one who has got a lot of responsibilities, uh, the poem is referring about the burden as responsibilities. We have a lot of responsibilities, like for the elderly ones, uh, for your parents, you can say they have their work pressure, their work is there. Their family burden is their family responsibilities to look after the parents, to look after the children, to look after the finances. A lot of things are there. So these are all part of their responsibilities. What does whimper and whine means? It means a sad cry of a pup. Okay, like the way a puppy cries. A similar manner is what the poet is telling. We cry in the same manner. We whimper and whine to get, uh, to get the success, to get success for us if we are not uh, successful. According to the poet, will you always succeed if you are courageous? If you are courageous, yes, you might succeed. You need to build up that courage from yourself, from within, from our, our, from our own self. Okay, Nobody else is going to share their success with us or their courage with us. right? You need to build up on your own. Have you ever had a dark and stormy day in your life? I'm sure everybody does go through the same thing. Everybody do come across a dark and stormy day. Right now, what we are going through is part of dark and stormy day. The pandemic situation where we are all 
locked up at home we cannot go outside we cannot meet our friends we don't we can't spend our time no vacations no holidays so this is a dark and stormy day that we all are going through okay so these are different textual exercises the rest of the question answers are posted in your teams please do go through it read the lesson once and twice and find out the difficult meanings and hopefully you will enjoy this poem again okay have a good day take care stay safe and stay fit children bye